Welcome back, Pre-Algebra. We are in Lesson 47 today. And we're going to talk about the evaluation of exponential expressions and radicals. So remember when we first started talking about exponents back in Lesson 16, we said that we could say 5 times 5 times 5 would be the same as 5 to the third. We could do the same thing with variables. So x times x times x would be the same thing as x to the third. Well, what if we know the value of x? Well, if we do, we can substitute that in for the variable that's written with an exponent. So let's say I had m squared. Well, first of all, I would know that that would be the same as m times m. So then if I told you that m is equal to 4, you could easily rewrite this with 4 in the place of m and say that 4 squared is the same as 4 times 4. And then we could get a value for that, and that answer would be 16, or that solution is 16. We're going to do some problems just like that, where we have some variables that are using either exponents or radical symbols, and we are going to substitute in the value for that variable. So let's start with 47. Point one. So here we have m squared and m is equal to 9. So all we have to do is remember that m squared is equal to m times m. Well, if m is 9, then we could drop in 9 for the value of m. And 9 times 9, if we remember our squares, that is 81. And that would be our solution. Let's do 47.2. It's not much harder. We have 4 to the x power. We don't know what the x is. If x is equal to 3, then that means we have 4 to the power of 3, or 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16, and 16 times 4 is going to equal 63. And that would be our solution. All right, so what if we have some square roots or some radical problems? So let's do 47.3. In 47.3, we are given 64 to the n root. We don't know what n is yet, but if I say, oh, let's say that n is equal to 3, I can rewrite this as 64 to the third root. And then I would do the math such that I know that 4 times 4 times 4 is equal to 64. So that means that the third root of 64 is going to be 4, and 4 would be the solution to that problem. Let's do one more, 47.4. We have th the third root of some number, and that number is equal to 27. So all we have to do is substitute in the third root of 27, and I know that the third root of 27, 3 times 3 times 3 is equal to 27. So it's three identical factors. We're looking for three identical factors. So the third root of 27 is equal to 3, and that would be the answer to that problem. So you see it's all about just putting in the value of the variable like we have been doing for wherever the variable is. It's really not complicated. Um, it just takes a little bit of imagination to see it. Just, But you know what? Don't even use your imagination. Just rewrite it with the number where it's supposed to go, wherever the variable is, just clarify it and then you can solve it. Easy peasy. I will see you in lesson 48.